All right, have you ever wanted to know how to overlay a time code onto a video and then that way when you export it, it's visible? In this case, I've got a video that I'm editing for a client and um, they're going to provide me feedback on which sections of the video they want to keep and which ones they don't. And so I want a time code overlapping when I send them the demo vi video. So it's not too terribly difficult. First thing you want to do, of course, is have your you know, video ready to go and edited to the format you want. This is just going to be the raw video, no edits that I'm sending them. And then what you're going to do in your project window, right click, new item, and then black video. Select that, just leave it on its defaults, and hit OK. Pay attention to this time base, I've got 25 frames per second, this will come up later. Hit OK. So now I've got my black video. You just drag and drop that onto your timeline. And you then want to extend it so that way it's overlaying the whole thing. So as you can see, we've got a black video on there. Next thing up, we want to go to our effects window and we want to search for time code. So there we go. Drag and drop time code onto that black video timeline. And notice what we have now here. We have a time code showing. But if you notice, it's not matching the same uh, times in the playhead. So let's fix that. You go to your effects control, and there are a few things you want to change here first. So um, we can set it to SMPTE, which is the time one, which is where we want it, frames, free, whatever. Leave that onto the default. You want to uncheck this field symbol box. And that gets rid of that little circle that was over here. So if you didn't see me do that, there's a little circle here. You want to get rid of that. Um, from the time code source, we want to switch it to clip uh, instead of media. It's pulling from media now. And notice what it did, 2124, 2124. The next thing is going to be the time display. You can adjust this. Um, and this is based upon the frame rate. So remember how I pointed out the 25 frames? There we go and we've got that at the right time. And last thing we want to do is, of course, uh, we want to be able to see the rest of the video. So you go back to your effects window and search for crop and drag the crop onto the video timeline. And we are going to just, the quickest way to do this is just check where the word says crop. You notice we've got the blue bars around our window now and you just drag and move it down to around your box. If you want some people what they do if they're not going to go into like hours so notice we've got like um, milliseconds, seconds, uh, minutes, hours uh, you can drop it down in my case I'm just gonna leave it on there it's not that big of a deal might be a good idea to get rid of that because really I just want the uh, minute and seconds, but I'm not going to. Now let's say you want to move it around. You can ma just make sure that the window selected. Go back to your video effects, select on motion, and then you can just kind of drag and move it around if you want. So in my case, I'm going to put it down in the lower left corner. That's pretty much it. Notice now what it's going to do is the uh, times will match up uh, throughout the whole thing. Whoops, mine aren't. And the reason being is I must have accidentally, yeah, see, I accidentally switched the time display to 24, switched back to 25, because that's what it was done at. Um, or yours would be 30, it just depends uh, on what you recorded it at. Then when you go to export it, it'll have that time code in it. So here's one I did earlier, audio, but you notice the time code's now in the lower left corner. You can make it larger, smaller if you want as well. Uh, that's just going to be your scale and position, just like it normally would be on anything else you do. And that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you, and have a nice day.